my husband and I were sitting in front of an oncologist and he said that it was stage four pancreatic cancer. And my husband asked him, what does this mean in terms of Marissa's lifespan? And he said, maybe six months if she's really lucky that I was medically incurable and there was absolutely nothing that could be done. My husband said, I'm booking us for an introductory workshop from this place called Omega, which is a retreat center. I agreed to go because I thought maybe I could learn some things about how to have a better death. You know, make it easier on my three children. And this woman who had been part of this group said, I have an uncle, his name is Louis, and 10 years ago he was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer and given at most two months to live. And last week, my favorite niece, Rachel, got married. And Uncle Louis managed to pick a fight with the groom and the groom's father. And I thought, oh my God, maybe I don't have to die. And that, changed everything. I was shocked that there were hundreds and hundreds of research studies of people who lived much longer than the statistics about eating cruciferous vegetables, supplements and vitamins, the importance of relationships, of being in a community where people were feeling empowered. I decided that I was gonna find a brilliant, well-trained oncologist who believed in the possibility that I could get well again. I became a cancer coach. So as things started working for me, I started sharing. The first thing I would say to someone who's been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer is to stay away from all the negativity. Don't read about the statistics. Go on websites like Let's Win. Put your focus on all the positive stories and there are thousands and thousands of people who have lived so much longer than the odds. If they can do it, I can do it. We all can do it. My name is Marissa Harris. I was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer 19 and a half years ago. This spring will be 20 years.